Wait here, Commander! How was Megaris? The wolf is dead. Excellent. The full amount is promised. You expected me to haggle? Come now, Alexios. It isn't every day I have someone kill their own father. But he wasn't your real father, was he? How did you know that Nikolaus was my stepfather? I love theater. All of the arts, really. A great general throws his own children off a cliff on the say-so of the Oracle. It is a tragedy for the ages. You think my life is entertainment? Oh, no, my friend. It is art. I know, I know. It's a lot to take in all at once. Come on. Tell me, Mistyos, did you learn anything worthwhile in your dealings with the wolf? I'm done talking. I should kill you where you stand. Temper, temper. Ah, and they said you'd be different. But blood is blood, I suppose. They? What blood? You really are more brawn than brains, aren't you? A shame. I could have used you for more of my errands. Malaka! You think you can play with me? I'll cut out your tongue! So disappointing. Get away from me! Death is coming down! Knock away like a coward. I should investigate his house. A letter to Alpinor. Oh, Phoebe. You led him right to me. Alpinor's looking for a woman. I wonder who he wants in his slimy grasp now. This is a ship manifest. Alpinor selling weapons to both Athens and Sparta. He wants this war to go on forever. I have met some treacherous people. None of them compare to Alpinor. I'm going to look under every rock, in every shadow, until I find and kill this vile serpent. Fuck him. What's your problem? Why don't I have fucking problems with? The Oracle for one, the sea for another, and don't get me started on my crew. You have business with the Oracle? You're a long way from Delphi. Had business. And my business is none of your fucking business. I ain't shopping for a merc. If anything, I need the gods. You need a god? I'm the next best thing. Oh, you're a live one. 
That's a good pitch. I'll give you that. So, who are you? Captain Yellon of the Shark's Tooth. Shark Tooth's your boat? Do I look like a fucking fisherman? I sail a ship, not a boat. It was just a question. I'm here to help. Oh, it's not your fault. After my business with the Oracle, I came to meet my ship and crew. That was a day ago, and they're nowhere to be found. So where's the shark's tooth? I wouldn't fucking be here if I knew, would I? Okay, let me rephrase. Where was the crew meant to be? Well, um... I sent my girl Yiki off. Pilgrims get stuck in the shallows around here, and, uh, We sort of help out. Oh. Your girl? Yeah. Best hand I ever had, and more. Look, find my ship and my Yiki, will you? I'll pay. I'll find out what happened and bring them back. I'll find them and return as soon as I can. the shark's tooth, all right. Or what's left of her. It's the description of Yiki's armband.
Tell Gellon about the key key. Found your ship. And? Come on now, where are they? Where's my Yiki? I really don't know how to tell you this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Zeus could have impregnated the whole of Athens in the time it takes you to say anything. Where are they? They're dead, all right? And your ship's gone too. Oh, my Yiki. All I found is her armband. Yiki. I suppose I'm not much of a captain now. Can't be a captain without a ship. I can offer you a place on my crew. I know it's not like having your own ship, but you'll be part of a family. Hmm. Well, I'd rather be at sea than stuck here with these pious idiots. You got yourself a deal. Just till I'm back on my feet. Of course. Now, where's your boat? Ship? 
It's called the Adrestia. Whatever you say, Captain. Alexios, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpinon? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. You weren't lying. It really is the spear of Leonidas. Uh, I may have mentioned you. you showing a bit more secrecy. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did it... You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. <laughs> that much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. You don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said, spring should not wish for winter, as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand a word of it, but that's why she's in there and we're out here. I know a threat when I hear one. <laughs> you were on Kefalonia for too long. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this! Of course he does. Delphi is nothing like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. 
Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Pythia, but this line... I'll be an old man by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is he not every bit as great as I said? I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker! I lost my mother when I was young. I have to find her. Where is she? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. I saw you feign ignorance in Kausos. You let an unknown sickness govern your decision. Innocence died thanks to you. But how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain, the cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Bithia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers! Rotatos, you're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you, she knew who I was. What I'd done, tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to Delphi. But I paid them no mind. The Pythia seemed afraid of them. Guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the Temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. I'll find where the Pythia lives. And I will get answers. Alexios, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. <laughs> 